An icon in the fight for women's rights, former Representative Pat Schroeder has passed away at 82 years old. Schroeder was elected to Congress in Colorado, but she had lived in Central Florida for years now. West Shuzanika Hope spoke to a political scientist, a close friend, and a colleague about her enduring impact. You do not have to have known former U.S. Representative Pat Schroeder to feel her impact. But those who knew her will tell you you'll wish you did. I'll miss her every day but I will be living a better life because of what she left behind, both in my heart as my friend, but also in the legislation she worked and got passed. Steph Garber met the representative from Colorado later in her life when Schroeder moved to Central Florida and joined the League of Women Voters. Garber says she never dreamed she'd be friends with her childhood hero, the first woman on the House Armed Services Committee. One of her biggest accomplishments? Schroeder championed a family leave bill in 1993, providing job protection for care of a newborn, a sick child, or a parent. She was considering running for president. They asked her how she could possibly run for president and be both a mother of small children at that time and also carry that kind of responsibility, to which she replied, well, I have a uterus and a brain, and I use both. UCF political science professor Aubrey Druitt says in addition to her accomplishments, Schroeder will be remembered for her quick wit. She was credited with calling Ronald Reagan the Teflon president, which has been used by others as well and about other politicians. But basically by calling him the Teflon president, that just meant that no matter what you criticized him for, it just didn't seem to stick. Dr. Ryan Musgrave worked alongside the former lawmaker when they taught together at Rollins College. They learned so much um, from her. So one of the things that's been, I think, most inspirational from student, for students is watching how she's inspired multiple generations. Schroeder was 82 years old. Anika Hope, West 2 News.